Hi everyone. Welcome back to our podcast series. This is the very first episode of our podcast uh, series and we have with us today Nilesh Pandela who has been working at Texas Instruments in 6 months and completed his bachelor's in electronics and communication engineering from NIT Suratkal. So welcome Nilesh to our very first podcast series. Would you like to introduce us a little bit and let our viewers know about you in in brief hello everyone as uh, niranjan mentioned uh, i studied in nit suratkal uh, i am here to share my experience uh, uh, share my interview experience share my career path all those things with you guys so you can take something good from it uh, so initially i used to uh, even though i am from an ece background from the starting days of my college itself i used to look into some software things like i learn c python and uh, some web development related things and then i started uh, uh, applying for internships uh, from my college itself and uh, uh, i tried many uh, software roles i given uh, many interviews for uh, many companies uh, with which uh, provides a uh, software domain uh, but uh, finally i got a uh, internship at tachas instruments and the journey with tachas instruments so far is very good the interview experience everything is also very fine the interviewers are also very good you joined tachas instrument as intern right yes so how how was the experience like interview experience as a whole broadly if you could share with us and our viewers okay so for uh, internships there is no hr round in tachas instruments they have one online mcq test round and followed by two face to face interviews which were online during for my batch mostly now they are taking offline interviews so the online test consists of around 25 questions uh, which are uh, around uh, c language microprocessors and computer architecture things uh, while as uh, the first round of interview was uh, wholly based on the microprocessors and uh, the uh, assembly language and uh, uh, finding the inputs and uh, outputs of a c program those things uh, it is mostly like a lab viva which we will have during our first year uh the int- uh, the first round is uh, completely focused on c language only uh so the interview will be mostly based on the c and the hardware architecture pipelining all those things so for a software engineer or an electronics engineer who wish to work as a uh, embedded software engineer at texas instrument what are the topics one should focus on so would you share some in experience like or which you have been through during the interview and the topics which are relevant to crack the texas instrument interview um, so uh, for an internship at texas instruments you should be very good at c uh, you should have some knowledge of microprocessors pipelining in the pro- uh, processors uh, also you have to uh, i mean mostly if you are good at c and microprocessor that city you can crack and uh, uh, interview with tachas instruments that is for the software profile right yeah it is for the software profile now the first round is written and thereafter you have interview as well like face to face interview yes first round is a written test second and third rounds are face to face interviews so both are technical uh, interviews only okay so second and third round both are technical interviews technical rounds yes correct? yes so in second round what do they ask like uh, is it related to what you have uh, answered in the written examination or is it different from that uh, so the topics are same in the written exams uh, the questions will be very basic but in the face to face interview there will be like a uh, more uh, difficult things and also uh they last uh, a subjective type of thing they'll uh, ask uh, i mean they asked even uh, 
the things what will happen if we read a write only memory or if we write to a read only memory such type of things so basically you should be strong at a uh, uh, your computer organizations and architecture course i think that course will be given to most of the ece cse students also the uh, c language which will be in your first year of your uh, btech I think these two courses, uh, if you focus on these two courses mainly, it will be very easy to crack an internship interview in attach us instruments. So if I summarize basically C language, concepts of C language, along with the computer architecture and organization, and yes. a little bit of microprocessor will help anyone to crack the interview Texas instrument in the second technical round, I believe, as well as the written. So after passing out the second round, what about the third round of interview? Like what kind of questions or what, what is the depth of the technical knowledge one should have to crack the third round of interview Texas instrument for a firmware engineer? Uh, so in the third round, it is also in face-to-face -face technical interview. There they mainly focus on the project you have done in your, during your BTEC. So it mm -hmm. will be a, a good plus point if you have some uh, a mini project uh, or major project. I think... Uh, Internships will be done in third year, so you may not be having a major project. So it will be good having a mini project in the embedded domain. Anything with the Arduino or Raspberry Pi will be fine. Okay. So project, uh, a thorough understanding of the project which one have done during the engineering uh, is always an advantage in the third round of technical interview, right? Yes. So that's all about the interview experience, three rounds of interview experience one can have. And uh, thank you for sharing your insights about the interview experience at Texas Instrument. It will definitely help all viewers to crack the interview at Texas Instrument and in software domain. Coming to the work at Texas Instrument. So you joined it as intern at Texas Instrument and converted as a full-time engineer and have been working since six months at, the, at TI. So how is like, uh, how do they look at you or your work or skills during the internship, which which helped you to get a full-time opportunities at TI? Would you share some insights about your internship journey that led to the full-time conversion at Texas Instrument? So my internship was done in online. And uh, there will be a, I mean, you should have a continuous monitoring of yourself during the internship, like uh, what all things you have done to the, uh, till the date, all those things. So this is because uh, it will be uh, very useful to report to your uh, manager during the internship. The managers are very friendly. If you are not able to complete a task by the deadline, they will extend it. You can talk uh, very friendly the environment is very friendly and uh, the work also right you will be even though you are doing an internship or you are uh, you join newly to the ti you will be involved in the work it, there is uh, no such thing like you will be doing your work separately which is of low priority and uh, doesn't impact much there are no such type of things the the work done by every person in ti will be impacted on real world They'll solve only real-world problems and you'll be working on them. So that's really interesting insight because during the internship, the work, either you join as a full-time or you are as an intern, the work, what you do is really challenging and it's there is a lot to learn during internship as well, I believe. Yes. And so monitoring is another factor which you mentioned to for a full-time conversion from internship. So that, that will definitely, that's a definitely important point for one to consider as a full-time job after the internship. Now, mm. after conversion, you are now a full-time employee at Texas Instruments. Congrats for that. It's really Thanks. a great step in anyone's career to work at Texas Instrument. As... So, how has your experience been at TI in last six months working in a radar team? Would you share some information or like the kind of profile or the work culture which is there at TI? So as I said, the work you do will be impacted on the real world. There are no dummy works in TI. So the work is very interesting. 
uh, initially it may look like you are writing only a plain C code, but there are uh, many things internally you should learn. Uh, so the challenging part is to understand the uh, hardware under the device. As a firmware engineer, you will be knowing the hardware present on the device and you have to know the current sequence uh, on how to activate every hardware so that the device whole can perform in a very good manner. There will be many uh, optimizations like uh, you can't uh, blindly do the first sequence first and then the second sequence. You, you should uh, understand what every sequence is doing and you should uh, optimize those things so that uh, software delays will be very less. So the work is very challenging. Uh, even though I completed my six months uh, in the TI, I feel like I have much to learn. And uh, even I, I think even after working for another five years in TI, I feel like there are many things to learn in TI because uh, they work on many interesting things and very complex things. For example, this radar, right? Uh, this radar previously uh, used only in military purposes, but uh, with this uh, innovation, radar is now being used everywhere in daily life. You can see many cars using our uh, TI chips uh, to detect uh, devices and to detect uh, obstacles on the roads and uh, do automatic braking. True, in BMS battery management system as well, TI chips are used. Yeah. And so the work, as you mentioned, is pretty challenging. It has impact on the real world. So it was really great listening to your insights which you shared work being either as an intern or as a full-time and along with that what you shared about the profile in, in which you are working on so it was great listening to you and this will definitely help our viewers to know more about uh, embedded software engineer profile and it will also help them to crack the interview at uh, texas instrument which is one of the finest semiconductor company in the world so thank you for joining us. It was great pleasure having you here with us. Thank you. Yeah, thank you everyone. I hope the viewers will join my team after watching this video. Definitely, it will motivate them yeah. to join yeah. and thrive in the career. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you.